Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Coding with Ado. Today we are going to start using Web3 for some integrations. We're going to use specifically right now, a, we're going to do a login using a, a wallet, our Ethereum wallet, just like this, where we have the account basically from our MetaMask wallet. And you can see we have the same here. So you'll do basically a Web3 login, okay? The idea is in next episodes, we will use other capabilities of this uh, of the Web3 library. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a React application. And create, create, React app. Hey, let's call it Ethereum login. Okay, perfect. So now that it's finished, we have everything here on the login, all the folders. Let's go there, let's go to the login and let's install our Web3 package. Perfect. And now we're gonna create a file here called app.js. Okay. Oh, sorry, no. Uh, we can go in source and we actually have the app JS here. Okay, so we're gonna work on this app JS, okay? So we're, we're gonna first import Web3 from Web3. Okay, not from Web3, it's from Web3 directly. And it's Web3 like this. Uh, I'm going to read. Oh, okay, wait, it's not read. Okay, perfect. So that's fine. And we're going to do. Um, oh, let me. Remove copilot. Using completions. Perfect. Okay, let's work on that. So, what we're going to do is let's set first this uh, a state for our login account. So let's do account and set account equal to use state. It's gonna be that or it can be new, whatever. Uh, let's bring out use state import use state from React. And we're also gonna need the use effect. Okay, perfect. So let's say, for example, here, edit, blah, blah, blah. let's say we're gonna do, a, let's remove all this, and let's do div a account and account. Okay. So basically, we will just show the account ID. Uh, well, the wallet. Um, so let's start. So we have the use state account perfect. Let's start with our use effect. Okay, we'll create this function that will be run uh, as soon as we start. You know, with no no trigger here. And what we'll do, we'll do. Um, let's check first if we have like a wallet installed okay so let's do if type of window.ethereum is different than undefined then there is a sort some kind of wallet out there okay uh, so if not, let's do console log. There is no Ethereum browser. Ethereum was installed in your browser. Okay. Perfect. If there is some type of browser using it, uh, app in your browser using Ethereum. We can get started. Let's do. Let's initialize Web3. 
it goes to new web the using window dot ethereum okay so let's do a try catch here console dot error So that basically could be like, I don't know, you denied your access in your login or something like that. So that will be catching here because in here, like we are going to do a login. Okay. So we're going to do window dot Ethereum dot enable. Then I think function. We're gonna do const accounts equals to an await of a web3 dot eth dot get accounts. Okay, let's do set accounts. Um, actually, that's uh, that's my bad here because. Uh, your wallet normally has many accounts, so it's not just one account, it's accounts. Okay, so it's an account here, we'll do accounts.map, let's say, actually let's do accounts.shine by a comma. Okay. Um, Oh, we gotta do that one. Okay, let's do the other way around. Let's put this here, and in here we do showing in a comma. Set accounts. So basically, we'll have like a comma separated all our wallet, uh, our wallet there. Okay, so that should be almost it. Um, there's one more thing. Oh, actually, wait. I. This is not the way we do this. Um, there's one more else here. There's one more edge case, which is if the type of a uh, window dot web three is different than defined. Um, we should be able to go web three. Uh, yeah, so the idea here is that we either have a browser Ethereum, like let's say Brave or something like that, or either we have MetaMask. So those are two kind of like different ways that we can get connected if it's like a native or an extension from the browser. So we have to take account of both. So in order to do either of those logins, we have the first one and we have the second one, which will be a web3 window dot web dot window dot web address dot current provider okay and let's do web address dot out another a dot it dot get accounts and this basically is the same thing as before so we do dot accounts equals to accounts and then set accounts dot yeah, sorry accounts dot shown so you can see basically two ways to do the same uh, the problem the difference is that who is the provider of the auth so in here we use the window dot ethereum and in here we use the window dot web3 dot current provider okay so it's either one or the other, that's fine, uh, it should work. And then let's do, um, let's do an, up, an update, let's do use effect. And we can do if window dot Ethereum. window dot ethereum dot on accounts 
changed. Okay. So if something changed on the accounts, we can still get the new accounts in here. Um, not happy that we are using accounts, accounts in the same place. Uh, accounts and account, accounts and account. Let's let me change that. So let's do. Uh, account changed. Account changed. And these accounts. Let's do. Get account. Get account. Get. Get accounts. Get accounts. Get accounts. Yeah, basically because I don't wanna like use the same as this. Yeah. Okay, so we should be able to run this. Okay. So let me let me clear this out. Let's do let's bring this browser here. So okay, npm start. Yeah, sure. This alternative, perfect. Uh, also with keys accounts, if you render collection of children, use the ring instead. Okay. Uh, what if it's a string lock? Oh, keys. Ah, no, she with keys. Okay. Uh, so we should be able to do. Let me see if I can do like shapes on the string if I no right no we can't do that here okay let's print chat the first one okay let's actually see what's going on in accounts Um, ah, okay, yeah, we have to remove one of the brackets. Okay, perfect. So, I just refreshed and I got, it's in my other browser, but I got this notification. HTTP 3003, connect to MetaMask, select accounts, create new accounts, etc. So we have, you can go here and select here. This just opened here, okay? So we go next. A connect account, see the different direction, account permission, yes, connect and connect it. So you can see here, I just got the connection. Okay, and whenever you go back, let me fix this. Okay, let's fix this. Doing this, let's. Remove the shines. Remove the shines. And let's do it properly. Let's do accounts.map. Account index. Uh, this for the render, like that for the render, that breaks this, that breaks that. I'm missing one more here. Yeah, perfect. No. One, two, three, perfect. And let's do here. Yeah. Oh, let's actually do here. Let's print just. 
account account and that inside a view okay cool hey it's not defined defined okay I don't know why there's a problem for that. We have it on that function, and this because instead of a string, we have to send an array. Perfect. Now you can see that we have the account here. So, yeah, that's basically how you do a login using Web3. Um, we're gonna do much more things with the Web3 library. I'm thinking about posting some NFTs into OpenSea or creating our own uh, cryptos inside that Ethereum wallet, uh, the Ethereum blockchain. But yeah, uh, I'll I'll do more things on Web3. So yeah, thank you very much for this, uh, for staying with me. Uh, like, subscribe if you like this content and see you on the next episode. Bye.